guys and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share with you my favourite books of 2020. I'm a little bit late but I wasn't sure if I wanted to upload this but then I've had quite a lot of requests for some more book content so I thought it would be a great place to start. I guess we can do a quick recap of 2020 reading for me. In 2019 I hadn't read that much. I think I'd read about eight books in 2019. Last year I read I think it was like 30 something. Okay I can't find it but I think I read like 34. I think because we were in lockdown I was just tempted to read. There's actually seven books I wanted to quickly talk about. I only have six here but the seven I would like to talk about. They are the seven books I gave five stars to. I guess the first one we'll start with is one reread which is and which I think is quite relevant for 2020 is Sally Rooney's Normal People. The reason I think it's quite like relevant for 2020 is because the series on the BBC and HBO came out. I reread this just before the series came out just because I felt like I wanted a reminder of the book and because I just loved it so much the first time round that I wanted to read it again anyway and it's 266 pages so it's quite a short one i initially read it in july 2019 and then i reread it in april 2020 i think i read this in like a day and a half because there was like this one week where i was reading like a book a day or a book every other day like i was really really getting out of the reading i think just because it was sunny so i wanted to just sit in the sun it was locked down and it was like the first lockdown so i didn't feel as bad just lazing about doing nothing if you haven't read it and i feel like everyone has read this or seen the series this book is based in ireland i really i do quite enjoy books based on Ireland for some reason it might be a coincidence but over the years I've really really loved them it's based on Ireland written by an Irish author called Sally Rooney who also wrote Conversations with Friends which is a good book but in my opinion not quite as good as this the story follows Connell and Marianne and Connell is really popular in school and he goes to school with Marianne but Marianne is a little bit better off in terms of social class but she's a bit more awkward and less popular in school and Connell's mother is actually Marianne's family cleaner it, and then it kind of develops from there they go off to university and we follow them along that it's kind of a coming of age story which I typically quite enjoy I just loved this I would definitely recommend picking it up if you're into kind of more contemporary romances I guess Sally Rooney has a new book coming out this year I think it's in September so I'm very very excited about that I also read and I don't have it to hand a book called I mean I don't even have the book name called kids I taught and what they taught me I'll put the cover here I really hope that's what it's called but it's kind of like the teaching version of this is going to hurt which was the Adam Kay book about the NHS I think I really liked it because a Michael's a teacher so I feel like I could relate a little bit to it and b a lot of it was based in London I love a book that's based in London because it typically mirrors my experiences a little bit which I find obviously they're a little bit more relatable I went to a state school it talks a lot about state school I really enjoyed that and I would definitely recommend it especially if you're interested in like teaching or you just want something a bit more heartwarming I really did enjoy it and I gave it a five stars as well I've only got one other non-fiction so we'll go with that and that is Bryony Gordon's Mad Girl I picked this up so many times and I almost gave it away before reading it but then I fell in love with it Bryony Gordon is a journalist I believe she writes for the Times as well as other publications as well this is her memoir which tackles like mental health alopecia drugs eating disorders lots of different subjects that kind of took part in her life but more so it's just really raw and really honest and I really did just love reading this i think when you're reading a book that is very honest like this you can't help but fall in love with it it was quite an easy quick read but definitely worth it and if you are tempted by this then i would definitely recommend picking it up it's been out for a few years which also put me off reading it a little bit but loved it next we have eleanor oliford is completely fine now i almost didn't put this in here but i gave this five stars but i can't even remember what it's about I googled what it's about and I still can't remember what it's about but I definitely read it because i had been putting off reading it for a while. I kind of had started it and then not loved it. So I don't really have a lot to say about this because I just, weirdly, I can't even remember it but I definitely enjoyed it. It's such a contemporary classic I would say. It's one of those books that's very iconic for 2018 sort of era. This was on everyone's bookshelf. At one point I had been gifted quite a few of these and had like two or three of these on my bookshelf but I don't know I really enjoyed it but I can't remember it so make of that what you will it has however highlighted the fact that I need to start writing like notes on the back of books like just a little post-it note with my thoughts and what the book is about because if I do wish to talk about it in the future I need to I need to know what I thought about it I'm definitely going to start doing that so that 2021's version of this video is a little bit more informative than this one then we will go on to this one which is by Colleen Hoover who is a New York Times bestseller and this book is called Regretting You I bought this off Amazon and it's actually I don't know it's a, it's a weird book typically books are all very similar height this one though is it is taller than most books on my bookshelf is like the only one that sticks up i don't know if it, maybe it was just printed in america and that's why even like the pages are bright white compared to 
a typical book which is a little bit like beige i'm not sure why that is so this book is a little bit unusual in that each chapter is from a different perspective there's two perspectives morgan and clara who are mum and daughter morgan is the mother and she became a mother at quite a young age i think it was like 16 and she is hoping that her daughter also like late teens doesn't follow in her footsteps and her daughter doesn't want to follow in her mum's footsteps because she finds her mum a bit boring and she wants to be a bit more like spontaneous i guess it is essentially i think probably like a ya but i did really enjoy it i would definitely recommend it especially if you would want something a little bit lighter it's not like groundbreaking i don't think about this every day but i thoroughly enjoyed it it was a book that i was kind of sad when it ended and it does also have a love story in there as well if that's something you quite enjoy then on holiday i read the lido by libby page now again this book is set in london which like i said i really really enjoy it follows a journalist called kate and she has to write a piece about a lido which is closing down um, i think it's actually in brixton she formed a friendship with an older lady who's 86 and who swims at lido every day and we kind of follow that it's just a really heartwarming really beautiful reviews of this are kind of mixed but i loved it i read it on holiday and it was exactly what i needed i read some other kind of similar books whilst i was on, on holiday but this was my favorite one i just felt that it wasn't quite as predictable as a lot of books from this genre and then my final book is just my absolute favorite book i think ever i'm actually going to reread this maybe this month i'm really looking forward to it there is a film and i love the film it's probably my favorite film i just i can't explain to you this this book oh just it warms my heart it's just the number one book in my opinion i just i've absolutely loved it and that is call me by your name you've probably heard of it or seen the film but this is by andre Asaman. it follows two characters oliver and elio in italy which obviously great place to to set a story and it follows like their relationship i really wept through this book it really like just took over my heart i absolutely loved this story so so much i just think that this is just the most beautiful love story ever if you're into romances i cannot recommend this enough for some reason i am a little bit more attracted to gay relationships in books i think it's because they typically seem a little bit less cliched i, I just can't recommend this enough i mean if you're not a reader you're probably not watching this but if you're not a reader and you just want to watch the film then do that because i do think it is a beautiful beautiful film but i would highly recommend reading it first because i just absolutely fell in love with it it's definitely like a coming of age story the one thing i'm going to say though if you've watched the film or you're thinking of watching the film is i've i recommend it to a couple of people and they haven't enjoyed it which makes me not want to recommend it because i love this this book and this film so much that i almost don't want to recommend it in case people don't like it and they kind of come back to me and they're like actually it wasn't very good and it, it makes me a bit sad to be honest because i like it that much i do think that the issue is that with the character with the actors cast you have timothy chalamet and army hammer army hammer looks significantly older than timothy chalamet so i recommend it to one of my cousins who came back to me and was like actually it just seems like a very inappropriate film and i get that but i think in i think in the book the age difference isn't relevant and i think it's supposed to not look like as much of an age difference as it does in the film so just bear that in mind if you do watch the film but read the book first loved it so so much something i will say though is that i also have andre Asaman's find me which is the second book after call me by your name this has good reviews this has almost awful reviews so do let me know if you've read this and what you thought i'm gonna read it anyway i think i might read this this weekend maybe on like saturday and then read this on sunday but i don't know if that's just very very wishful but i am tempted i'm definitely gonna read this soon i hope it's not as bad as everyone else is saying it is i'm currently reading norwegian wood by haruki murakami which i'm currently really, really enjoying and potentially could be in 2021's video we will see because i'm only like halfway through but that's the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it i really enjoyed reading last year i'm really looking forward to reading a few more books this year oh i am actually also soon sorting out my bookshelf so if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I will film that very, very, very soon. Bye.